Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ashley, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair. Sorry, my dog is being needy. If you want, follow me on my socials. I'll put them right here. I also have all my socials linked down below. But yeah, let's get into the video. So to curl my hair, I usually try to curl it like on the second day after I wash it. I washed my hair yesterday and I let it air dry because I'm going to put heat on it anyway. So like why blow dry it? It just is extra work that I'm not into. And I wash my hair with this Purology shampoo and conditioner. It's their, what is it? Hydrating. I don't know. It's a purple bottle. I think I have this linked to my Amazon storefront, which I have linked below if you are interested. And then for leave-in conditioner, I swear by this stuff. This is my Redken um, leave-in conditioner. And this helps in the winter, especially with like static, I found. It just makes my hair super soft and easy to work with. So this is what my hair looks like. Just air dried, slept on it wet, um, nothing fancy. And to curl it, I don't put heat protectant on it. I know I should, but I don't. Anyway, to section my hair, I do it like one inch around my part line and get this little tiny baby section up here and I clip it back like that. And I do that because like, especially with short hair, nobody really sees this bottom layer unless it's like these front pieces. So I don't spend a lot of time on it because I'm lazy and I don't wanna curl my hair longer than I have to because it's time consuming and annoying. So my curling iron, I have this Hot Tools clamp curling iron. It's a one inch barrel. I got this at Ulta, and I know I'm not supposed to have this on the hottest setting, but I do. Please, uh, hair stylists, don't kill me. Um, I know it's not good for my hair, and I know I should use heat protectant too, but I don't. So, as for hairspray, I should invest in hairspray, but I don't. This whole video is like, mm, you should do this, but this is what I do. Anyway, um, <laughs> I get the, like, the cheapest hairspray I can find because it works, and it's fine. I don't know. And I make sure that that hairspray is completely dry before I put any heat on my hair. Now to curl my hair, like I said, I don't spend a lot of time on this bottom section. But what I do is I put the curling iron like closer to my root and clamp it. And just slowly feed in hair. And I kind of touch it to see how hot it's getting. That's how I gauge like when to let go. And then to let go, I just kind of unwind it and then pull the ends through like that. And I just alternate the direction of the curls all the way around my head. I just find that it gives it a more beachy look. And after I do these front two pieces, um, I kind of section my hair weird. So I also don't curl like down here because again, nobody sees it. And it just saves time, honestly. And again, to release, I just unwind it and then pull the ends through. And I'm just gonna do the same thing all around again not curling the very bottom layer but i just do this all the way around the bottom layer and like on this bottom layer if a curl doesn't come out like very nice i don't even bother like redoing it anymore because it just blends in and you can't even tell and it just wastes time can you tell i don't like spending time curling my hair <laughs> i feel like part of that is because i used to have hair that was like down to my waist and it took me, I'm not kidding, an hour to curl my hair every single time I curled it. And so then once I cut my hair, it started taking me like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And I've also found like a lot of life hacks to make it go quicker. All right, I just finished the bottom layer. This is what it looks like before I run my fingers through it. I usually wait until I'm done with my whole entire head to run my fingers through it. And I just spray my hair with hairspray and just let it sit like this while I do the top layer. Now for the top layer, I split my hair down the middle because that's where I part my hair and I stick this section of my mouth <laughs> and section this one up. I know it's really gross that I put my hair in my mouth, but I don't have in the pants, so. And then I tuck this, you know, behind my ears, throw it behind my back, and then let this just fall so it all stays separated. Spray with hairspray. And on the top layer, I take much smaller sections because I want the curls to be more defined. And again, I start up near the root and just slowly keep adding in more hair. And I, again, leave about two inches out at the end. So this curl went away from my face. This next curl I'm gonna do towards my face, but I really make sure that the roots get nice and curled before I add in the ends 
because it just helps the curl stay better and it helps, you know, not put unnecessary heat on the ends. Now for this big front section, I found that my hair just flows better if I curl it all away from my face. That's why I did this piece towards my face to kind of break it up. And this is going away. Now for the front section, I don't bring the iron as close to my root as I did on the other ones. I leave a good couple inches from my scalp. I just personally think it's more flattering on my face shape to have looser curls on my face. Spray again with hairspray. And now it's time for the other side. this completely cool because I find it holds better if I let it cool like in its form before I do anything to it. So while my curls are cooling, I am taking a puppy break. Okay, now my curls are cooled, so I'm just running my fingers through my hair. And like I flip my head over, shake it out, do everything. And like my hair is um, super big, but I just run my fingers through it and it like calms it down. But one of my pet peeves is when people curl their hair and they just don't run their fingers through it. Like, I'm not one of those people that's, like, annoying and comments it on every single TikTok. But I do see it and I'm like, I just, I just want to run my fingers through it so bad. Now I'm taking my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Sea Salt Spray and spraying this all over and scrunching. And this just adds texture to my hair, gives it some grip, makes it a little bit beachier and not so like freshly done. And it looks kind of scary right now, but I scrunch my hair like crazy and just let it dry like this, let the sea salt spray dry like this. And then once it's dried, I run my fingers through it again. Okay, now that the sea salt spray is dried, I'm just running my fingers through it again. And that is all I do. I know the curls look kind of tight right now, but it's just because they're freshly done, but they fall throughout the day to like a nice beachy texture. But this is what the back looks like. As you can see, you can't see the bottom layer that I didn't curl. Teddy's throwing a fit because I left him in the bathroom to film this clip. But this is what my hair looks like all done. All right, it's a couple hours later and this is what the curls look like after they've fallen a little bit, which is my favorite. I don't like how they look when they're like freshly done. I just think they're too tight. But yeah, this is what they look like. Bye.